Hey there. Uh, if you are here, it's for grade 10 academic exam preparation. So this is exam review for grade 10 academic in the Ontario curriculum. Uh, so if you need to go through this, well, I couldn't figure out a way of YouTubing this page. So here's all the questions. Um, if you need to, you can just pause it at any point and work through these questions. I am going to include all of the solutions for this too. I'm going to put up videos for all the solutions to all of these questions. So if you can go through this, you should be pretty good for your grade 10 academic Ontario math exam. Now, that said, your teacher is obviously going to be different. There's, so some questions will be different, some questions will be the same. A lot of the application stuff might be different, but the knowledge stuff should definitely be the same. Um, yeah, ignore those page numbers. That's just extra factoring practice if you have the right textbook, which I probably shouldn't name here just in case. So these little lines here that you see, these are different units as I have broken them down. So, for instance, uh, this is what I call quadratics 2. So this is in the quadratics 2 unit. It is mostly working with vertex form. And then where that dash is, oh no, my bad, wrong dash. Uh, this is actually quadratics 1, which is mostly working with factored form. And then at this dash, this breaks it into quadratics 2. So yeah, your teacher might break it into different units. It might not be broken up the same, but well, that's how I do it. Anyways, if you go through these 55 questions, though, you should be good for your exam, or at least you should do decent. Now, the better idea is to know what your teacher is going to put on it and go through their exam review, but they might not give you solutions, so yeah, you might be a little hung out to dry. Uh, these X's on here, these are the ones that I will not be including on my exam. They may be on your teacher's exam, though, so you might want to practice it. Almost done. Just finishing up in trigonometry. And those are the 55 questions. So again, if you need to, pause it, work through the 55 questions, and then go through the solutions as you need them. So I've got video solutions to all 55 of these questions. Here are just the answers. If you want to just quickly check the answers. All right, so there's all the questions. All the solutions will be to follow.